check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's happening? What's going on in the little world? Just curious, not being too nosy. I'm going to talk about this uh, growing age horror movie, whatever you want to call it, The Black Phone. Woo, exciting. Uh, it came out in 2021, and you can watch it on Peacock. And it was directed by uh, Scott uh, Dorkinson. Don't know much about it, but I like how, how he did this movie, dark and creepy. Good job. It came from a short uh, story from Joe Hill uh, with the same name. And most of you may not know, but he's the son of Stephen King. So the movie uh, takes place in 1978, the suburbs of Denver, Colorado. So the story is mostly the point of view of a brother and sister, uh, preteens. And the stuff is happening around their neighborhood. I guess some guy near the grabber is uh, kidnapping kids in their area. So the one of the kids named the the, the boy's name is uh, Finney is played by Madison Thomas, and uh, he's the typical the preteen boy, you know, dealing with bullies, trying to get his first love, all that fun stuff in life. Uh, and firstly, he becomes a victim of the grabber, and uh, during his stay with the grabber, uh, they put him into a basement, all he has like a bed, a black phone, and a, a toilet. During Finney's uh, stay, uh, the other victims will communicate him to the phone. They kind of warn him what the grabber was going to do, try to trick him, and their own version of them trying to escape. And you have the sister, who's played by Madeline McGarrett, who her name is Drew. Uh, Drew is a typical uh, preteen girl uh, who has uh, supernatural powers. Her power is she dreams certain events that are going to happen towards people nearby. And she visits a couple of the grabbers how he was kidnapping. So apparently uh, Drew told one of her friends about her dreams of the napper how he was kidnapping. And for some reason the cops kind of knew about this uh, dream and kind of interrogate her in the office and and she comes really offensive I and mean, she will use a lot of foul language you can arrest me and, but she, that's like the one of the best part of the whole movie but and you kind of learn later on why she gets really offensive when the cops are asking her about these dreams she's been having it turns out her uh, her dad's been depressing her for um for uh, saying these kind of things and um Mom had the same kind of power and kind of drove her insane. But the father is an alcoholic, uh, caring, abusive, overprotective person towards the kid. Doesn't really know how to handle him as a parent and basically dealing with a loss. And really, Brysley, uh, Heathen Hawk played the excellent uh, villain. Uh, he plays the kidnapper. Um, of course, they call him the grabber. And um, he has this weird kind of mask. Uh, he can like move the mask up and you know move the eyes or the face with different kinds of motions. And for some reason um, he had been stayed a bit longer because he didn't fell for his trap. Because the ghosts were telling him you know you know don't do it. It's a trap. I'm always curious when um, that really young characters playing uh, kids from the you know, late 70s, and they're all born around, you know, not, you know, maybe the 2010s, trying to explain to them about pop cultures of the late 70s, and, you know, TV shows and different characters, and so I remember they gave a test, they explained to them about the whole thing, but they play a really good job of uh, playing these characters that play, like, decades deep when they're born, and you feel like you're back in that time. So this is a pretty great movie. I enjoy it. Uh, I mean, everything is about is great. The, the script, the, um, the actors, everything just did a great job merging into one and create something so great. So I pretty much count this as more of a filler than a horror movie. It depends how you look at it. I mean, not much violence. It's more of a tense uh, character action, talking, um, suspense, kind of like style. I mean, the only scene they had was uh, the father really a hardcore spanking Gwen because somebody found out about her dreams, and that's a way of 
of him trying to press uh, her talking about it. Uh, I mean, of course, the kidnapping, they don't show no murder scenes. I was like, but no blood, no guts. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say uh, there was one killing scene, but it doesn't really show that much. It's just blood flying there and there. But it's a very intense movie, and I enjoy it. You know, it's kind of like a Twilight Zone episode in a way, influence. And yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe. Let me and uh, maybe do better next time. And um, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye.